The Meriden family is mourning the loss of their six-year-old son. Police say he died after the go-kart he was driving crashed in a popular park. Another little boy in that vehicle survived as well. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin is live in Meriden with reaction tonight. Matt? Yeah, so Mike, that crash took place right over here and next to it, folks have started this makeshift memorial leaving all sorts of stuffed animals, just a lot of heartbreak and disbelief about what happened. Now investigators are piecing together what led to this tragedy. The last night when we heard the sirens, my daughter ran out and she ran up the street and I was worried. Fear turning to heartache in Meriden. A community stunned to learn a six-year-old boy died after a go-kart crash last night. It's a tragedy because you can all relate to having kids and I always tell my kids it takes one split second. That's it. Please say the boy was riding in the go-kart with a four-year-old boy in the parking lot of Cronenberger Park. A witness told NBC Connecticut the six-year-old was going fast and an attempt by the family to stop him was not successful. The go-kart striking a closed swing gate. Go out enjoying the day, whatever they were doing, and then to end with such a tragedy is just, you know, my son is 29 and still wanted to go and give him a hug. You know, it was just the, I can't imagine, you know, those poor parents, you know, what they must be going through now. Investigators report that while the boy was wearing a helmet, he suffered a traumatic injury and later was pronounced dead at an area hospital. In a statement, the mayor writing in part, let us use this time to support a family who lost a child and pray they find the strength they need to honor his memory. I offer my deepest condolences and continued support to the family on their heartbreaking loss. The mayor thanking first responders and good Samaritans who tried to save the boy's life. Community members starting a makeshift memorial. Hopefully they will increase because, you know, there's a family out there, there's siblings out there, and again, it helps the neighborhood heal too because it's a child. Now we are told that other little boy was taken to Connecticut Children's to be checked out. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to police. Live in Meriden, Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. Right back to you.